Hello everyone, my name is Miguel Infante and today I'm going to go over the case. The case is, it is, our case today that we're debating is the United States federal government should incrementally raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Now, regarding the PMC case, now the points were the points were well made, the positive and why they should raise it. Now, I have no problem with it. I have no problem with it. They made some good points and the good points that they made was that the points that they made here was that with the increase of it, it could help people pay off their rent. It could help people that are struggling with their families, with everything, and they can help you know provide for their families and provide care for their families. And overall, that's what we all want. Now, overall, for the effect of it, as they stated out, that it would be beneficial for everyone involved. It would be beneficial. I have no problem with that. And then the continu the contingency uh, the contingency CA is that basically what basically what they're saying is the wage would increase tremendously, which is a good point of view because overall the PMC pointed out that they wanted it to they wanted to provide wealth for the families and overall just in general the population of labor itself. With that being said, I want to I want to take back from NBC. It said about a thousand people right now, a thousand people, about a good majority of people right now that are doing minimum wage. If we switch it up in twenty twenty five to fifteen dollars an hour, to where we are now with the minimum, the minimum wage right now, according in two in twenty eighteen, it is it is about ten fifteen dollars. It is about ten dollars and fifteen cents. Now that is a significant low decrease from twenty eighteen to twenty twenty five when we increase it to fifteen dollars an hour. But that being said, I want to point out too. The LOC point of view, the LOC point of view has made statements on the statements that they have provided. It is this, that a good majority of people, according to PMC as well, has also stated that on their side, that as well, that if the people that don't have a lot of money, it also causes with obesity and poor health options and poor health care and things in that nature, which I want to point out in LOC's case, that is not the case at all. Poor health care, yes, yes, that's a point, but it's also a major it's also a major impact on yourself and how you provide for yourself. And overall, the overall impact of robberies and you know, if your parents aren't there, if the person that is that is having the jobs right the person that is in the minimum wage section like McDonald's or anything like that, that is that is benefiting benefiting off of minimum wage to provide for their family, is not it is not the, the, the government's fault or the people's fault to say that, oh, I'm being provided the worst health care of my life or being provided this and that. It is not the case at all. See, about, see evidence here from about from NBC, from NBC, the evidence here that states it is about 38%. 30, no, correct me if I'm wrong. It is simply 38.6 38 million adults 18, 18 or older that are working full time. Now, 28 of them, or working half time, twenty eight point twenty three point eight million full time workers, and so on and so forth in that medium. But overall, these jobs aren't these jobs aren't meant to these jobs aren't meant to suffice. These jobs are more or less there to help you and benefit you on your world circumstance. For example, people in high school want to work and want to gain experience. This is what the medium wage this is what the medium wage jobs are for. They're not for long term sufficing money income. They're not for that at all. But people that are wanting fifteen dollars an hour, yes, that's beneficial. But at the end of the day, you have to think of the cost. The down cost here is according to CNN and overall it says over here that, that the president signed off this this waiver back in twenty eighteen. The problem is it the problem with it is this the labor cost. The labor cost is this. The labor cost is the amount of time they spend, fifteen dollars an hour, yes, it's beneficial, but fifteen dollars an hour, it also defeats the quantity, the purpose of the employee. With that being said, fifteen dollars an hour, yes, it's a lot, but it won't benefit the people overall because overall the the company will lose money. When the company loses money, it loses the value in employing their employees. So, with that being said, we also got to keep in mind this, that in the age that we're at now, the age that we're at with technology and everything else in between, phones, etc., it's only a matter of time when we have, 
robots take over jobs. When I mean robots, I mean this. I mean scientifically that if we raise this up to $15 an hour, $15 an hour is great overall. And it sounds great on paper. It sounds great in general. But in realistic, in realistic view, we have to we have to set the facts and the facts are this. The $15 an hour, yes, it will help people live better lives and live better and live better with better benefits. But the problem is with that is the more money that comes in, $15 an hour, the less money goes into the company. And then it also it also downgrades the company because then it also replaces the workers because fifteen dollars an hour, yes, you can pay the workers fifteen dollars an hour, but at the end of the day, what works more sufficiently? Fifteen dollars an hour regarding paying people than regarding getting a robot to do the work even better. They don't have to pay the robot. And that's what's also what's the downfall here. Fifteen dollars an hour, yes, it sounds all great and, and it sounds all great and pretty. At the end of the day, the employees and the higher end companies can look even better and replace the workers with robots or machines to do the jobs better. And now at the age that we're in the day of age of technology, we can see that happening sooner or later. With that being said, how is the plan proposed? The plan proposed is to raise fifteen dollars an hour to benefit the people. And people and like they said, like in PMC, on their side of the case, they were saying that this causes healthcare problems and obesity and things of that nature. It does not cause that at all. The rates and the how much you how much wage how much money you get does not impact your health. What it impacts your health is your diet and your nutrition. But yes, on the on the outside of it, on the LOC side, it is also the impact of the person in general. See, it is not your living conditions that hold you back from the money, it is the living conditions that you want to push yourself to. Now, yes, poverty is a it's a it's a very bad thing, but in, realistically Getting $15 an hour won't help you move away from poverty. It is from the living situation that you're in and the living situation you want to get out of. That is my case here. So overall, $15 an hour, is it really worth it? $15 an hour is worth it on paper, but it's not going to be worth it at all. And it is not going to help people realistically. It is going to downfall the economy and downfall the enterprise of the business itself regarding pushing out the people out of work itself. So $15 an hour, yes, it would work, it would work, but it's also a downfall. Thank you very much.